Welcome. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start standing at the front of your mat. Bring your feet about hips width apart. And the first thing we're gonna do is fan out all 10 toes and engage your feet to the mat so you're nice and grounded. Lift up your knees and on the inhale, bring your shoulders up to your ears. And on the exhale, pull them back. So nice and long, take a little bend in your knees. First forward fold, walk your hands down your thighs. Drop your neck, grab opposite elbows and just hang. If your hamstrings are tight, bend your knees and back off. If your hamstrings are loose, start to straighten the knees and get some more sensation. Check the neck for softness. So you're looking between the legs, not at the mat. And then you can sway a little to the right. Cruise across the center to the left. One more time to the right. Across the center to the left. Gently back to normal. Hanging to the center, deep belly breath, y'all. As you inhale, the breath comes in the nose, down the spine, the belly rises. As you exhale, every ounce of air exits the chest, exiting the nose. As you clear the lungs, you fold forward a little bit more. Nose breathing will keep you hot. Deep breathing will keep you calm. Let's gently release the hands towards the mat. And on the inhale, glance up halfway. And on the exhale, pull forward, emptying the lungs. Hands don't have to touch the mat. You're just looking for sensation. Shake out the neck, engage your feet, small bend in your knees, inhale. Reach out, reach up and hold the hands high. Exhale, swan dive right back down. Bend the knees to your own degree. Again, inhale, reach out, reach up, pull high. Exhale, swan dive down to your own degree. Shake out the neck for softness, engage your feet. This one's a little bit different. Inhale, reach out, reach up, hands high and hold. So the hands are gonna face the front of the room. The shoulders are gonna stay soft. So on this guy, your feet are still about hips width apart. You're gonna lift high so you're really long. You're gonna engage your feet to the floor and we're gonna start the belly breathing with a little bit of movement. As you inhale, fingertips pull to the ceiling. While you're exhaling, we're gonna to start to bend the knees, drop the hips and come into pressing chair. So it might be a mini guy. It might be really low and hardcore, working the legs, getting hotter quicker. You find your spot. If you have a lot of energy, a lot of strength, you're gonna drop real low. Not into it today, you can just go for a little mini, mini one. So once you find your spot, we're gonna start this circular breath-based movement. While you're inhaling, straighten the knees and pull the wrists to the ceiling. While you're exhaling, empty the lungs like you're painting the front wall. Inhale, full belly breath, it's a lift. Exhale, clear the lungs and drop. Inhale, two strong legs. You might even pull back a little. The exhale takes you right back down to this pressing chair. Inhale, full belly breath, waist is arising. Next exhale, we're gonna hold that pressing chair. Soften the shoulders. If you need a little more activity, you could try popping to your toes for balance. More strength, drop the hips for heat. Next exhale, drop heels, straighten knees, forward fold. Shake out the neck for softness. Fingertips down or dangling. We'll inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, pull forward, empty the lungs. Engage toes, small bend in your knees. Inhale, reach out, reach up, and bring the hands together. Palms are gonna press together, activating the back. We're gonna bring the feet out a little bit more, maybe all the way to the edges of the mat. Press palms, activate back, engage toes, lift knees. On the next inhale, pull your wrists high. And on the exhale, we're gonna bend the knees and come into a little squat. So you can go mid squat, you can go pretty low squat or super deep squat. If you find your deep squat, all four corners of the feet have the floor. So you're not all buckled in and hovering forward. So you might not go that low. It's totally up to you. Find where you'd like to be. We're gonna get a little bit of cardio and some up and down movement. While you're inhaling, straighten the knees and pull the wrists high. While you're exhaling, empty the lungs and squat low. On the inhale, two strong legs, it's a lift. While you're exhaling, clear the lungs and press. Inhale, full belly breath, ah. Exhale, drop squat open. Inhale, two strong legs high. Exhale, last one coming down. Inhale, pull high and hold. Interlace the fingers and flip the palms to the ceiling. As we inhale, we'll pull the palms high. Exhale, cruise to the right, left rib cage opening. So you're looking for length and a little bit of clearing on that rib. You don't wanna go forward or crunch. You wanna go space and then mini movements. 
Come to center on the inhale. Come to the left on the exhale. Right pinky toes got the mat. Right rib cage has some sensation. As you clear the lungs, you might get another little quarter inch right here. Just stretching out that side of the body, super nice. And we got it. Coming right back to center, throwing in some more heat. Left foot to left wall, right foot to right wall. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, pull the elbows and shoulders back. Adding more heat, we're gonna to start to bend the knees and drop the hips. If you're feeling really strong, you could pop to your toes. I find that super intense, so I'm gonna skip it today. But as we inhale, the palms come a little higher. Exhale, elbows back. This is too intense, just don't bend so low. How do you know it's too intense? You start holding your breath. You've lost the practice. Deep belly breathing, that's your barometer. If you're not super challenged, drop a little bit more and that's it. Let's straighten up the knees, toes come forward. Next exhale, pull the elbows back. Uninterlace the hands and reinterlace them behind you. Roll the shoulders back as you inhale, glance to the ceiling. As you exhale, lead with the crown of the head and then let the arms fall away from the back. Super soft neck like we began. If this is too intense on your shoulders, you can grab your t-shirt instead. But if you've got these hands interlaced, start to slowly pull them away from the small of the back. If your hammies are tight, bend your knees. If everything's groovy, straighten the legs and fold forward. And then super mellow, y'all. Just release the hands and grab opposite elbows. Been here before, hang, soft neck. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, pull forward, hands coming towards the floor. We're gonna tiptoe both hands to the right side of the mat in front of the right foot. And then just kind of lean into the left hip and ribs so the inner right thigh stretches a bit. Walk the hands across the center in front of the left foot. Lean into the right hip and rib, inner left leg, ah. And then gently back to neutral. Perfect, we're gonna bring the feet together, engage your toes, small bend in the knees. Inhale, reach out, reach up, finish the inhale, mini back bend. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, glance up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back. First upper push up of the day. So on this guy, you got your shoulders over your wrist, heels are back, crown is forward. Push-ups are not for everyone. We come here a lot, so coming to your knees is a beautiful option. You might do this every time we find ourselves here. Maybe you get a burst of energy and you wanna do a push-up every once in a while. Makes no difference to me, I just want you breathing. Deep belly breath as we inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna lower slow and control. Five, four, three, two, one, drop the thighs, drop the feet. As you inhale, pull up just a few inches. As you exhale, control your body as your chin comes down. Inhale, little mini back bend. Exhale, control coming down. Inhale, chest is a lifting. <clears throat> exhale, chin to the floor. Tuck the toes and with two strong arms, we're gonna press that body into down dog position. Okay, here's down dog. First thing you gotta know, if it's ever too intense, just do it with bent knees or come into child's pose for a little break. If you've got it going on and you're in it, feet are hips width apart. Neck is chill, you see the tips of the toes. Hands are engaged, protecting the wrist. Back to the breath, y'all. The inhales come in the nose, cruise down the spine, fill up the belly. While the exhales, arms pressing, lifting hips, lowering heels. Shake out the neck, breathe deep to the belly. And we're gonna do a couple salutations. First set's always nice and slow. At the end of your next exhale, lend your right foot all the way between your hands. Drop your left foot flat. Inhale, bring the hands to the sky, belly rising. Exhale, hands frame foot. Inhale, make it a push up, knees or toes. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, find yourself an up dog. Exhale, kick it into down dog. You can even put a push up in there before finding down dog. Soft neck, wide hands, low heels, deep belly breath. End of the next exhale, we're lunging with the left foot. Right foot's dropped flat. Big old inhale, hands climb high. Exhaling while the hands frame the foot. Inhaling into push up. Exhaling lower slow. Inhale, it's an up dog. Exhale, it's a down dog. Now we got that down. If that was a lot and you want a break, drop to child's pose. If you want to do one more set, here I go. 
End of the exhale, lunge right. Left foot's drop. Inhale, hands rise. Exhale, hands frame foot. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Soften the neck, widen the hands. Uh, end of the next exhale, lunge left. Right foot's drop. Inhale, hands rise. Exhaling, hands frame foot. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> Perfect, you need a break. Drop to your knees, bend your knees. Everything feels groovy. Grip the hands, lift the hips, lower the heels as you exhale. End of the next exhale, walk, jump, or float to the front. Engage toes, small bend in your knees. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Finish the inhale, mini back bend. Exhale, swan dive down. Soften the neck, come down just a little bit further. And check this out, pretty mellow. Just bring your left hand between your legs. So it can be at your calves, your ankles, your feet. Find the center of your body and then bring the right hand high for a twist. You'll engage the four corners of the feet so the hips stay stable. And as you exhale, you could potentially open that right thumb further back. Inhales travel peacefully to the belly. Exhales opening up for our first little twist. Very mellow, y'all. Hands come down. Right hand replaces left hand. Take a second, fold forward, two intense. You can bend your little knees during this series. Switching sides, left hand rising. You could look to the thumb. If you don't like that, you can look down. Re-engage the four corners of the feet. Lift the thumb, twist the core. Exhales get me a little bit deeper here. Inhale back an inch, exhale, hand comes down. Uh, engage toes, small bend, inhale, reach out, reach up, enjoy your space and the breath. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, glance up, exhale, step or jump back, it's an upper push up. Optional, dude, I'm gonna give you an option to be a little bit more intense. Remember, you can do this on your knees, toes, or super hardcore, right foot hovers off the floor as we exhale lower slow. Inhale, finding up dog. Exhale, one-legged down dog. If you didn't do that and you want to lift your right foot up now, you could do that. You could do regular down dog, totally your call. If your foot's up and you want to get a little action, you can bend the right knee, opening the hip. Rotating the ankle. Try not to collapse in the left shoulder. You want to keep the shoulders equal. Just messing with that hip a bit. Shaking out the neck, and then it's going to come right back up. Inhale up an inch, exhale three of these, hinge forward, knee to nose, inhale right toe back wall, exhale knee to nose, inhale back wall, exhale knee to nose, last one pull back, exhale lunge your right foot through. Ah, we take a second here, feet should be about hips width apart so you're not on a tightrope. And then you decide, well if I'm a little pooped I'm going to go ahead and drop to my knee for some stability. Or I'll stand my toe if I've got it in me. Left shoulders over left wrist, and then the right hand comes high, twisting. Inhale, find the waist. Exhale, open up. And again, if you're starting to hold your breath or feel like this is too intense, just do this guy with your knee down. You're still getting the twist, everything's great. But if you've got a lot of strength and you want to really find your edge and need to work harder, you'll pop to your toe, kick your heel back. Exhales are starting to open you further. Engage your right foot. Deep belly breath. And then pretty mellow, dude. The right hand comes down. We're framing the right foot. I'm going to play with a little balance now. Bring all the weight to your right foot. Left foot comes off the mat. This might be all you do today. Right leg's getting strong. You're working on balance and focus, beautiful. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, left hand is going to go in front of the right toes. 
Moving into a half moon as the right hand starts to rise, half moon twist. But remember, this first one's fine. If you just want to hang out here with a lot of right leg strength, that's great. But we do have a couple twists under our belt, so half moon twist might feel real nice. If you fall, it's no big thing. Adding one more heavy duty thing, y'all. We're gonna try to stand up, bringing the left knee into the chest without it touching the mat. Just a little squeeze. And then drop that guy. Perfect, that was a lot. So we're gonna engage the toes. Shoulders are back. <clears throat> Inhale, reach out, reach up, pull back. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, glance up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back up or push up. Side two. Knees, toes, left foot hover. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, one legged down dog. Now or later. So again, if you were for regular down dog and now you want to lift it, go for it. Equal weight across the hands. If you want to get a little hip opener, you can bend the left knee, opening, rotating the ankle. And then don't forget about that right heel. Maybe that dude can start to lower now. Lots of options here. Deep belly breath. All 10 fingertips have the mat. Left foot comes back to straight. And we're going to exhale. If you're in the mood, you could skip it. It's intense. I'm going to hinge forward. Knee to nose. Inhale, left toe back wall. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back wall. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, pull back. And then we lunge it through. Taking a breather, you're welcome to come to your knee. Feet are about hips width apart, okay? So you don't want to be in a tight rope here, so you're in a good spot. And then the right hand is placed under the right shoulder. And then the left hand comes high for a twist. Several breaths here. Remember, inhale's there to kind of scan the bod, make sure everything's cool. If you take an inhale and you find tension, choppiness, constriction of breath, you've gone too far. Take a knee. If your inhale's nice and long and deep, as you exhale, you might open that left chest further. Pay attention to the right shoulder. Try not to collapse in that guy. Maybe engage your left foot to ground some energy through that leg. Exhales might take you open just a little bit further. And then before that left leg gets too tired, left hand comes down. Lots of options on one step balancing, y'all. The first one is just to get used to that left leg carrying the whole body, the right toe pops off. Balance can slowly come in as the right hand's placed in front of the left toes. Knee can be bent, no big thing. Left hand can start to rise for half moon twist if you're in the mood. Unknown caller. Well, that's crazy and I don't know how to stop it, but that'll be fun. And here we go, opening. Not sure if y'all heard that. A little spam wrist coming through the phone. Okay, that left leg's pooped. Come on, we're gonna try to bring that right knee to the chest. Squeezing it in. So it's balance, it's strength, it's heat, it's blah, blah, blah. You tuck it in tight. And then good lesson. Like if something like a phone call stresses you out, we got ways to go on breathing and staying calm. So we just take a deep breath, we restart, and here we go. Inhale, reach out, reach up, finish the inhale, mini back bend. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, glance up halfway. Exhale, pull forward. Shake out the neck for softness. Feel everything get a little bit longer. Engage toes. Inhale, reach out, reach up, pull high and back. Exhale, swan dive down. This inhale, we're gonna go into chair with a little variation. Bring the hands up for chair. Shoulders soften, toes gripping. Stay here for three breaths. I'm gonna make sure my DND's on. Maybe four breaths. All right, little variation. 
Left hand in front of right thigh, right hand in front of left thigh. Inhale, straighten the knees, pull the arms across the chest like a Y. Exhale, empty the lungs and come down. Inhale, full abdominal breath and joy. Exhale, clear the lungs and drop. Inhale, waist is arising, chest is opening. Exhale, clear the lungs and drop. Last inhale, enjoy that Y. Exhale, cruise on down. Perfect. Come right back to this little chair guy. If you want it to be more intense, try popping to your toes, dropping your hips. Next exhale, heels drop, knees straighten, swan dive down. Nice forward fold, the neck shakes out, the breath is deep to the belly. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, pull forward. Plant the hands, step on back, upper push up. Inhale, tilt forward. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, three breath up dog, y'all. Soft thighs, shoulders back, chest forward. Cruise into child's pose for a few breaths. Rear to heels, hairline to mat. And then gently, we're gonna come to all fours. You've got your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees, guys. All 10 fingertips have the floor. On the next inhale, lower your belly, lift your tailbone and your neck for a little spine stretch. While you're exhaling, press with the palms, round the shoulders, tuck the tailbone, clear the lungs. One more of those. Inhale, belly down, tailbone and neck peel. Exhale, press with palms, round shoulder, back care. Gently back to neutral. Throwing in some stuff here. Equal weight across those hands. We're gonna start by just picking the right foot up and pulling it to the back wall. So on that guy, you want your foot flexed. Try not to sink in the shoulder. Equal weight across the shoulders, right foot's back, strong arms. If you want more strength out of that right arm, lift the left hand. Core becomes engaged. See, so keep breathing deep. Your exhales might lift those limbs higher. Right shoulder remains rounded. Breath remains deep to the belly. On exhales, I get more height. Inhales, checking for calmness. Right foot stays up, left hand comes down. On the next inhale, right heel and chin rise a little. Exhale, tuck the nose to the knee, lower spine care. Inhale, right heel and chin up. Exhale, nose to knee, lower spine care. Last inhale, enjoy the space. Exhale, enjoy the tuck. Gently drop that right knee. Back to all fours, little spine stretch in the middle. Inhale, draw the belly down, tailbone and neck up. Exhale, press with the palms, round the shoulders, clear the lungs and tuck. Gently back to flat back, side two. So this side could be different than the other, right? So you don't just jut into it. You start by bringing the left foot back and we have a tendency to sink to the right. So go ahead and even out those arms, flex the foot, round the shoulders, engage your little fingers. If you need more heat, right hand rises. Several breaths here. One exhale might lift the right thumb. The next exhale, you might round the left shoulder, pressing strong with the left arm. And then maybe the heel rises. We good? Keeping the left heel up, the right hand comes down. Readjusting those hands, I'm gonna inhale, lift heel and chin. Exhale, nose to knee, lower spine. Inhale, chin and heel. Exhale, nose to knee, lower spine. Inhale, chin and heel. Exhale, it's the last little tuck. And then gently drop that knee. Ah, there we go. Now a little variation. I'm gonna open the knees up to the corners of the mat and kind of sit back on my heels. So it's a little bit different here. I'm gonna bring your hands up so you've got some space, like it's a little triangle in between your, in your arms and the mat. I'm going to bring the right hand to the side, inhale, lift it up and back, exhale, weave it through, drop your right shoulder and your right ear down. This is very mellow and nice, you can stay right here. 
other options, the left hand comes to the sky. The left hand comes behind you, grabbing your inner right thigh. Third option, right bicep. Leverages into the mat, opening the twist further. It's also a great way to get right arm strength. That back of the right arm is a tough area to get, so you could really work it. Or you could go to that first one, y'all, where we're just enjoying an... Uh, Just worked the arms a lot a second ago, so it's nice to get this one in. Strong left hand, pushes into the mat, push your body up, and then the right hand plants. Switching sides. Now, if your inner thighs don't feel like they've got a lot going on, then you can open up the knees a little bit more. If you feel like that was a little much on them, then bring them in. So you can readjust. It's a great time to readjust. And the left hand comes up and back. Exhale, weave it on through. Left shoulder and ear down. Remember, step one is just to sit here. This is real great. Step two, right hand up. Right hand could come behind you, grabbing your inner left thigh. Or you could really make it a strength move by leveraging that left shoulder bicep into the floor. It creates a twist and a lot of strength on that left arm. I'm gonna stay mellow on this side. And then push your body up with the right hand. And then the left hand comes. And then the knees get closer together and we're gonna hinge forward. Shoulders over wrists, tips over knees. Inhale, draw your belly down, tailbone and neck up. Exhale, let's go ahead and press this all the way into an arched back, tuck the toes and kick it into down dog. <sighs> Soft neck, wide hands, low heels. If you need a break, this is a great time to take a break. I am gonna add a little strength move, just a little twist with the arms. Strong left arm presses into the mat, right hand grabs left calf, thigh, floor, ankle, doesn't matter, it's a little twist, just five here. Switching sides, right hand down, all the weight to the right arm, left hand grabbing calf, thigh, floor. Now if you're like, I can't really do that, Try just lifting the left hand off the mat a couple inches, and that's your baby step. And eventually, we go for the twist, heavy duty right arm strength. And then the left hand comes back, and we're gonna step, jump, float to the front. Engage feet, small bend in the knees, inhale, reach out, reach up, finish the inhale, mini back bend, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, just fold forward. Enjoy the sky. Your knees should probably be straighter than they were at the beginning of this. The neck shakes out, potentially bringing the hands behind the calf to pull in just a little bit further. Nose towards toe, not nose to belly. Always going for length. And then drop and shake. Feet are grounded and gripping, small bend in your knees, inhale, reach out, reach up, finish the inhale, standing mini back bend, exhale, swan dive down, inhale, glance up, exhale, step or jump back up or push up, inhaling forward, exhaling lower, inhale, three breath up dog y'all, soft thighs, shoulders back, chest forward, exhaling into down dog. Shake out the neck. Last lunge series on this side. If you'd like, you can pick your right foot up. Starting with a little hip action, I'm gonna hinge forward, touching right knee to right elbow for three, two, one. Inhale, right toe goes to the back wall. Exhale, lunge the right foot through, drop the left foot flat. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, rotate warrior two. First time here, unbelievable. So on this guy, Right knee's over the ankle, and it's aligned with the middle of the left foot. Shoulders are soft, you're not all punched up here. If this is intense, do a tinier lunge. If this is easy, do a bigger lunge. Once you find your stance, we have four options. First option is elbow hits the thigh, left chest opening. 
Okay, now in this one, you can't collapse and just get lazy over here, so you want space. If you like core work, let the elbow hover inside the thigh, and the body's got to hold you up, so the center of the body is holding you up. You press into that inner thigh. If you like flexibility, move here. Right hand down, left chest really opening. Triple flex, it's a bind. Right hand under thigh, gripping left wrist from back. Don't forget that left foot's got weight on it. So press that guy in, seal it. As you exhale, your shoulder opens. Any of those work, as long as you're not collapsing in the shoulders, as long as you're breathing. Maybe a little pressure on the inner thigh because we're about to get that hip. Might put a little bit of elbow weight into it. Left chest opening, and then as mellow as it gets, y'all, bring your left hand down, drop to your left knee, right foot whittles out a couple. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend the elbows, look to the left thigh, and stretch the top of that right leg, getting into the right hip. If you'd like, you can come to the outer right foot on this guy. Some days that feels really not so good. Some days it feels great. I'm gonna keep mine flat today. Top of the right leg, getting into the hip should have some heat. As you exhale, you can bend the elbows a little bit more. And then secondary hip stretch. We're gonna let our right foot whittle to the left hand. The right knee is going to drop for pigeon. <clears throat> so you want to make sure your hips are kind of equal to the mat so you're not all the way over to the right rear. So hips are equal. And then you have lots of ways to deepen this. You can walk your elbows out. You could let that right toe start to whittle up. Now alternatively, if this is like, ah, I'm holding my breath, this is too intense, I won't be able to be here for very long, lower your right toe, bring your elbows towards you. You're looking for heavy duty sensation in the right hip, but not so much it causes you to constrict your breath or try to get out of this. So find your edge, takes a lot of awareness, and then bring your breath into your right hip. Super long exhales, y'all. Just three or more, make them count. Clear your lungs, see if you can inch forward another, I don't know, inch. As the lungs empty, you fold forward, getting into that right hip. And then we take our time coming out of this guy. Hands walk up, shoulders over wrists, so it looks like you're doing a push-up. Now you can do a push-up or not, you can stay on your left knee, you can pop to your toe. Going back to push-up, we'll lower slow. Inhale, three breath up dog. Soft thighs, shoulders back, chest forward, hands engage. Tuck your toes for down dog. Shake out the neck, widen the hands, lower the heels, deepen the breath. Left foot comes up if you're in the mood. Exhale, hinge forward, elbow to knee for three, two, one. Inhale, left toe back wall. Exhale, lunge left, right foot's drop. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, rotate warrior two. Left heel line with right foot. Shoulders not punched up, they're soft. If we're pooped, lower your lunge, scooting right foot in. <clears throat> if you feel like this is easy, walk your right foot back. So we got some heat, we got some strength. Now a little bit of movement, three choices. Elbow to thigh, open up that right chest. Intense core choice, elbow hovers on inner thigh. Maybe even pressing that guy in, keep that chest open, core keeps the body up. Third choice, left hand finds mat. Fourth choice, it's a bind. I'm gonna stay in this first one. 
There's never a right one. The right one isn't how it looks, it's how it feels. It should be super darn intense, but never so intense you're holding your breath. So there's that fine line and only you can find it. So again, as you inhale, feel that belly rise. As you exhale, potentially open up that chest a little bit further. Feel that right foot nice and sealed. Maybe grip your left foot to the mat, sending some energy through the leg. And we know we have a purpose here. We're getting a lot of heat in that left leg. So you can really stretch out that hip in just two more breaths. So you clear your lungs, open a little bit further. And then take your time, super mellow. Both hands come to the inner left foot. We'll come to the right knee. Left foot whittles over a bit. Inhale, we'll glance up. Exhale, bend the elbows, look to the right thigh and stretch. Maybe on this side, I come to my outer left foot. It feels good on this side, did not on the other. Every exhale, I potentially lower my elbows. And then moving this into a secondary hip stretch, left foot whittles over, left knee drops. <clears throat> back. Drop into your right hip and rib. Settle the head. Come right back to center. Chin and chest, we're gently gonna kneel on up. And then we'll cross the ankles. And let's do this little guy to close this guy out. First, we're gonna bring soles of the 